If you guys want to win this complete inbox copy of Pokemon Coliseum for the Nintendo GameCube, all you need to do is enter my giveaway. To do that, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you leave a like and comment on today's video. After the series is over with, I'm going to be picking one lucky subscriber on live stream to win this game. Good luck, guys. All right, top of the morning. I'm on my way right now to go meet up with somebody I messaged on Facebook Marketplace. It is Thursday, which is garage sale day, and this lady had posted up a garage sale ad. I asked her if she had any video games lying around, and she said that she did. She sent a picture of a Game Boy Pocket with two games, one of those games being Pokemon Red, and as you guys know, Pokemon Red is a very valuable game. There's only one issue, though, that this Game Boy Pocket does not want to power on. It is broken. It's in very good condition, but it just does not power on. She said she put new batteries in it, and she couldn't get it to work, so it's broken. So I'm buying a broken Game Boy Pocket, a copy of Pokemon Red, and Miss Pac-Man, and guess how much she's asking? $70, which is very convenient because that's exactly how much we have in our Sculptor's Cut Bank. This lot is worth more than $70 just with the Game Boy Pocket being broken for parts, but I'm gonna try to attempt to fix it because we're trying to get as most money as possible and I'm trying to obtain a very, very expensive video game, so anything helps. I'm gonna document the whole process of me trying to diagnose and fix this Game Boy and maybe we can fix it, maybe we can't, but if we do fix it, Maybe I can help out you guys out there to try to fix your broken Game Boy Pocket. But enough talk, I'm heading over to her house and I'm gonna be picking up all of this stuff for just $70. All right, so I just pulled up. I got my box of funds right here. Let's go ahead and grab the money out of it and get our official second item of the challenge. Hello. How you doing? So you know how to work on these? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dabble in it. I'm gonna open it up and see if I can fix it. Yep. How long have you had it? Uh, we've had it for, shoot, let's see. How long we see. Hey, Han, how long have we had the Game Boy for? Yeah, it was Charlie's. Quite a while. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we were trying to tell him to look at all the great uh, features of Charleston, South Carolina, and he just had his nose buried in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that makes yeah, sense. The con you can open it up, take a look. Um, the contacts are good where the battery goes okay. and everything. And uh, yeah. so you might, there might be one screw underneath the decal right there. I was I had it in my workbench. I was going to take it apart and take a look. Never got around to it. Right. Never got around to it, and uh, the uh, actually my daughter has one too, believe it or not. Um, but I mean the screen's good and everything. Yeah. From what my wife was research, she was doing it said it could be the on-off switch. I mean that'd be the first place. Could be back. dirty. Yeah. Yeah, I tried moving it back and forth, um, but it doesn't look like it's been stepped on or anything. Yeah, it does look like it's in good condition from the front. I don't yeah. know. You never try to open it up or anything, right? No, no. Because yeah. I have a feeling that there's a screw right there. I don't... Might be. You know, sometimes they I do that. I think so, yeah. Sometimes they put, the, you know... Like a warranty sticker? Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I'll definitely uh, try to open it up and see what's wrong with it. Cool though. Do you have all the little uh Yeah, I have a screwdriver set, so well a screwdriver set for one, but yeah, it's probably a zero or whatever. It's yeah, it's a security screw. But the um tri wing. You have a meter to check yeah. the bolt. You're all set. <laughs> Alright, I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, so we got our Game Boy Pocket on the workbench, and it's in overall pretty decent condition. There is a barcode sticker that's peeling off, but nothing major. It's in overall decent condition. If you take a look at the battery terminals, as you can see, they are very corroded. And I do think that is the issue that we're having on why this is not turning on. It could be the power switch, but it's most likely the battery terminals. Let's go ahead and put some brand new batteries in here and see if it's gonna power on for us. As you can see, it does not wanna power on when I'm turning the switch on. So we definitely have an issue. We're gonna have to open this guy up. To open up this Game Boy, we're just using a tri-wing screw. 
and I have it as an attachment for my screwdriver and there's gonna be six total tri-wing screws that you have to take off and there is not an extra screw under the sticker just like that guy was saying it is just a plastic knob there is no screw under there so it's just six screws and let's take a look at what we got going on on the inside of this Game Boy. So right off the bat, I do see some corrosion on the bottom. I don't know if that is water damage or if it's flux. I am not quite sure at all. But I do want to take a look at this power switch because these tend to get gunked up pretty bad. And these are also one of the major reasons that the Game Boys don't turn on anymore. As you can see, the battery terminals are pretty bad too, so it can be either the power switch or the battery terminals. So let's go ahead and get those cleaned up. I am just gonna be using 91% isopropyl alcohol with my trusty toothbrush, and we're gonna go ahead and take that switch slider off and go to town on this switch. Make sure you get all of the gunk out of there, moving it back and forth, because these things tend to get gunked up pretty good. Next up, let's go ahead and get these battery terminals all cleaned up. These are really bad, but I think that the toothbrush is going to do just fine. Let's also clean off whatever this stuff is. I don't know if it is flux like I was saying. I don't think it's water damage, but nonetheless, let's get it all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and throw some batteries in this Game Boy now that it's all cleaned up. And it powers right on. So it was either the power switch that was dirty or it was the corrosion on the battery terminals. Let's go ahead and throw in Pokemon Red and see if it'll start it up. We got the Nintendo logo as you can see. And the game looks like it is playing without any issues, so that is a great sign. The contrast works as well. I'm not getting any sound out of the speaker, unfortunately, so we're going to have to take this back apart to see if we can fix the speaker as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy has on his save file, because I'm always interested. He's got a Kabuto, Snorlax, Clefable, Slowpoke. Oh, he's got a Venusaur, so we got a Bulbasaur starter. Pretty cool. Let's get this thing apart again and let's take a closer look at the speaker. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the entire board out and there's just three screws that hold it in. Be careful right here with this ribbon cable. You do not wanna take that off because you can damage it. Luckily for what we're doing, we don't have to take it off anyway. Here's the old speaker, and as you can see, it does look kind of damaged. Luckily, I do have a graveyard of Game Boy speakers, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it because we have one lying around the shop. So these are the two speakers that I have lying around. We have this one right here, which is newer, and then we have a replacement that is older. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the newer one. It's very self-explanatory. Just use your soldering iron and take off the old speaker and then solder on the new one. Some good news and some bad news. So the good news is our Game Boy works. You can play games on it. It's no longer broken, but the bad news is there still is no sound. When I put it back together, the speaker still didn't work, so I tore it down a little bit further. And using my multimeter, I found out that the headphone jack is faulty and I don't have an extra headphone jack and I really don't wanna be messing with this thing. So if I were to get a new headphone jack, we can get the sound to work on this guy, but I'm just gonna sell it as is for parts because we only paid $70 for the whole lot. I'm gonna take some pictures of this Game Boy Pocket as well as the two games that came with it. I'm gonna sell it as a lot only. I'm gonna post them up on Facebook Marketplace and I will see you guys once we have a buyer. Several days later. We officially have a buyer for our red Game Boy Pocket. The guy said that he's gonna pay $100 for it and he is well aware that the speaker doesn't work. He said he does not mind. He's about 10 minutes away. So once he gets here, I'm gonna show you guys the transaction. What's up, man? How you doing? 
You Jimmy? That's me. Chris. You can check it out. There's some new batteries in there, so. God, dude, I used to have one of these so long ago and I fucking lost it. Is that why you're buying it? Yeah, I collect. I trust you. <laughs> Smackers. Cool. Thanks. Man. Appreciate that. You too.